Hello and welcome back to another episode of the White Sox March to October. And uh, man, things maybe honestly for the first time this entire season did not go well in the last episode. I mean really with this White Sox team starting as the worst ranked team in the MLB, I feel like we were always due for that reality check and now... It came at the most crucial time in the World Series. We dropped the last two games in a row to the Cubs to go down now in the World Series 2-1. to one. So I'm considering this first game a must-win game. We can't lose this game. We can't go down 3-1. Fortunately, we have a pretty favorable spot to load into. We already have a 2 to nothing lead. We do have a little bit of a jam to work out of, though, with runners on the corners and one out. The plan for today is to play the next two games of the series, so we can't win the World Series today, but we can lose it. We can't have a repeat of last episode. So I say it's time. Let's load in here. We got the bottom of the sixth inning. We got Seiya Suzuki up with Dylan C still on the mound. Ten strikeouts and five and a third. He's probably in a spot where he can stay in this game. We're in the midst of the three road games that we'll have to play in the World Series, which I guess that is a silver lining if we look on the bright side of those two losses. It is now that just means if we win the World Series, Series, we're gonna do it in front of the home crowd. All right, let's go here. What do we got, Cease? 79 pitches up to this point. He's got he's got plenty of energy. Let's see what we have though. What where have we gotten our two runs from? It's Ben Intendi. He's starting to wake up a little bit here in this playoff run. I mean, I guess he's still only batting 162, but I feel like he got a couple hits for me in this World Series so far. And yeah, Cease up to this point, three hits allowed, no walks, ten strikeouts, and I didn't even like it didn't even register to me. He started and completed game one. Like Dylan Cease is on some sort of superhero mindset right now because he did. Like I said, he, he finished game one. He pitched a complete game in game one. This is only game four and he's back out there and he's looking good again until now. We got what we wanted. We got the weak ground ball. Of course we did. And of course it had to end up in the hole. We can't even get an out out of it, let alone the double play to keep the run from scoring. That's not on Cease though. I, I still want to leave him in. I mean, with that much energy, that much confidence still, and his overall, he's, he's still the best pitcher. He's still the best option we have on the mound. And that could be our double play. Sheets has it. Gets it to second, we get it back to first, and there we go. Out of the inning with the lead still. We at least needed to make sure we did that, and we did. Even if it's only a one-run lead now. It's time for me to hit, though. This is the first game. Like, it's game four of the World Series. This is the first game that the CPU has given me any runs. So we gotta do what we can with that. We gotta build on that, and I don't really know how I missed that. Wow, what am I taking that for? I mean, I know what I'm taking it for. He just threw a cutter on the last pitch. That one stayed straight, and I just couldn't pull the trigger. We got to swing at that. I don't know what I'm doing. I need a big swing from Sheets. Like, I just need to see that perfect off his bat. I need to see the no-doubter. Okay, it's not the perfect, it's not the no-doubter, but it is a walk on a very close pitch. I really, especially after looking at strike three in the last at-bat, probably shouldn't have been looking at that, too. That has to get through. It will. All right. Duran, hard hit up the middle. Man, that would have been a nice pitch to not be on top of. It's not too often that you get on top of and hit a high fastball on the ground. Like that same swing, but a little under it instead of a little above it. We might be looking at more runs on the board. No way, dude. Man, I just, I didn't hit that pitch. I popped it up and then I just, it's like I froze. I was so frustrated that I didn't hit it. I actually thought I was going to destroy that pitch. Oh, that's not going anywhere. Do not get your hopes up. I, I let myself get my hopes up for a half second. It's not happening. Ben Intendi with his power to center field here at Wrigley, never going to happen. Okay, there we go. Wisdom has hit the ball hard a few times in this World Series, but at least that worked out better than when I gave him a fastball middle in. Duran should have that. He does. And there we go. Slider in the zone made him look like that. That, I don't know, that might be it for Cease. Might call it with him after that. And if it if it is it for him, another great start. I just, I would really like some offense. I don't know where our offense has gone. We had such a good start to this postseason run offensively. And then somewhere in the middle of that Yankees series, it just disappeared on us and it hasn't come back. And I mean... 
Well, we might get on. Oh, just barely. Eloy just barely hustled enough to outrun that strong arm, maybe even 99 arm of Morel. And I'll take another walk. Didn't want to come after Vlad there, and I don't blame him, but that does mean that we have two on and nobody out. Which, man, for Luis Robert, that's not always the best news with his low clutch rating. That's a pretty small PCI. And I really thought I was on that. Oh my god, he's just throwing it right down the middle and I'm not hitting it. That time I was late? Well, at least I recognized the pitch. I just waited back too long. That, that can't be two. That will not be two. They're going to try it. Okay, I thought, I was hoping maybe Vlad would have enough wheels to run that out, but I'll take it. Move the runner up to third with only one out. Just got to keep the ball off the ground with Fletcher here. We have a good matchup for him. Maybe this is who I was thinking of instead of Ben Benintendi, who is coming alive now that I think about it. Dominic Fletcher, I know in the last episode alone, I'm pretty sure I went three for three with him. So I think maybe that's who I was thinking about that's coming alive. And he's not going to deliver. I I felt so good about that. And it was just right to him because of course it is. All right, I'm going to Sean Armstrong here. This inning's kind of weird. We have a righty leading off who hits righties better. And then later in the inning, we have a lefty who hits lefties better. So I'm just going to go to Sean Armstrong with his five scoreless innings so far. Man, and every time I bring him in, I got to get used to that timing again. That sinker is so fast. I feel like I go so fast on it, then it tells me I need to go faster. At least it's a good pitch, and it normally gets an out. Oh, man, there we go. Two weak pop flies on three pitches. If Armstrong can finish this game without losing much stamina, that would be huge if he can still be available for the next game also. And Duran, I think, should make this play, and he's got it. 99 arm, not even a worry about getting it there. That was a nice quick inning from Armstrong. We have one last chance to add on some insurance, and they're going to another new arm. This might be the first time I'm facing Yancy Almonte here in this series. I know he's got a hard sinker. Oh, man, and I was... Oh, that wasn't even the sinker. I was going to say, I was all over that. I was ready for it. Oh, and that's that's what I get for doing that. Okay, they let me hold up. They are being friendly today on a couple of these walks. We've got a couple calls. Now we got that. I've gotten myself on base a lot here in these three innings. I just can't get the big hit. And I don't think that's going to do anything. Yeah. I mean, I, I hit that one hard. I hit it on the screws. I'm better off just standing up there like a statue and letting him walk me at this point, even with good swings. There we go. Actually, that'll work. Hit it a little softer, but placed it a little better, and that is going to be a double. We got to hold the runner at third, though, with only 27 speed. And you know what? I do think I'm going to bring in a pinch runner here. We don't have all that much speed coming off the bench, and usually I don't feel like it's worth it, but 27 is a little slow. We do have a backup catcher. We do have, I guess, 58 speeds our best. I just want to give us our best chance of scoring on a sack fly. And I guess I, if I would have thought better... I could have done that the at bat before, and then on that double, we would have scored. Oh, you're kidding me. That's really the pitch. On a 3 2 count, the catcher calls a hanging slider right down the middle, and it works. And the rollover, the plays made. I just, I can't produce runs. I think we've gotten two base runners on every single inning, all three of them, and, and no runs to show for it for one reason or another. All right, well, for the first time in the World Series, Garrett Crochet is coming in for the save. He's four for four so far in this postseason run, but he has been a little bit more shaky than he was in the regular season. He's gi given up a lot more base runners than I'd like. And I don't like the fact that we're facing the top of the order with only a one-run lead. There we go. We need that. Another play from Duran at second. There's one. Best eyes I've ever seen. All four balls of that at bat were probably touching the zone, at least that I can remember. He laid off of all of them. It is just a perfect eye right there. The CPU is in super legend mode. That's not the pitch I wanted to throw to Bellinger, but it worked for strike one. My God, why can't... 97%. Why? Why is that bad? Okay, there we go. I mean, that was... For a three-pitch strikeout, that was a stressful AB. One to go, and this is uh, this is a lot of power up. 
with him being the winning run. And we're, why do they have a perfect eye right now against the fastball? That is a strike anyway, but we know the game doesn't call it a lot. They're, seems like they're almost forcing these yellow pitches too. Like, look at that. What did I do wrong? Please cut that off, Robert. Okay, we could not have that go to the wall. That, that keeps the runner. It doesn't keep the runner at third. They're handing me the win for free. What, what did the CPU see in that play to have the runner round third and head home? I, I'm almost disappointed that that's how I just won that game. Like that was setting up for a, a nail biting ending there. And it just, it's over anyway. I mean, I'm glad I won. I, I can't really be mad at the fact that I won the game. I just, I mean, I couldn't score myself. I was handed two free runs. That's all I ended up with. And I feel like I was handed that final out. But sometimes... You just have to take the handouts and say thank you. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know how to feel about the game after that because on one hand, you know, they gave me those two runs. They gave me that final out. But on the other hand, they gave me hard hit out after hard hit out. Ben Benintendi with the perfect. I mean, I guess that's kind of the thing. Even though I didn't score, I didn't really hit bad. We just got the right swings at the wrong time. Like Ben Benintendi with the perfect, no power, so it's not going to do anything. Duran's double with a guy with no speed speed on first if we make those same plays with different people in those situations I mean I would have had many more runs in that one but again all that matters is we won I guess I don't really have to worry about anything we just have to worry about what our next game is and once again we have no runs on the board and it's a 0-0 tie and they're not giving me much time to get my act together and put up runs it's the bottom of the seventh which means we only have two innings without extras to put a run on the board so let's go for it man let's see what we've got going on here it's jake eater on the mound man our pitching staff wants this ring first it's cease pitching after only two games rest now it's eater pitching after only two games rest and it looks like it's raining today that's got to be a miserable one i know what chicago area is like near the end of october at night this is is miserable man and look at this Nobody has scored more than three runs in a game. This is an old school pitching dominated World Series. And it looks like it's going to be another game of that with the 0-0 tie we have. And it's Patrick Wisdom up again. I've given up so much hard contact to him, including the end of that last game. I do want to see, though, just where we're at. We have one hit on the board, and it's Andrew Vaughn, of all people, to be the one who's contributed our lone hit of the game. It's the guy who hadn't gotten a hit in the entire playoffs up until that point and then two walks from garver and everybody else has been kept off the bases eater though has only given up three hits himself punched out six no walks so there is three base runners aside in this game no errors made is just clean well-pitched baseball I mean, we, we can't escape the hard contact off of Patrick Wisdom's bat. All we can do is mitigate it, and we fortunately had a guy right there. Dude, say a Suzuki. Does he just have, like, the best discipline known to man? Because this dude has not swung... Okay, I thought that was going to end up out of the zone again just barely, but it caught the zone. Oh, Nicky, uh, I really, I thought he was going to get there off the bat, and then he just, he was, wasn't was getting there. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, at least we're still going to get the out at first. I didn't even realize that they were stealing like that. They were doing some kind of hit and run. And, of course, they did. It kept them from the inning-ending double play. Okay, Vlad. Vlad's got it. I was worried. That seemed like one of those setup animations for the ground ball that he was going to boot it. But we get out of it. Again, no runs on the board. We got to do something. It's all up to me today. I feel like I need somebody to have a big swing. Like, we got to put up a run on the board on one swing. Because clearly, in that last game, getting base runners on didn't do me any good. And... There's a base runner on. I mean, it doesn't do anything bad. It's not like it's a detriment to get a runner on. It's just we have not been coming through. Maybe this time will be different. Maybe it's a new game, a new arm on the mound, new looks. No, dude. A 3-2 count. He goes slider in a perfect spot, too. Oh, Nicky Lopez. Do I stick with him? 
Do we do we want to go to the bench? Do we want to go De Young? I mean, De Young's not really much better, is he? He's just got a little bit more power, but also at the expense of a lot of vision. No, I'm sticking with Nicky, man. He's given me a big hit before he can do it again. Or he can do that. He can make an out on one pitch. All right, Duran, I'm making good swings with you today. I hit a single and a double in the last game, and now he's facing his strong side. I might have been all over that if I just let myself swing. I was early, but that's not a bad thing. Guess we'll never know. Ah, oh, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what threw me off about that pitch. I just, I don't, I don't get it right now. Why can't I hit? What happened to my hitting? Dude, I don't know. I, I think I want to stick with Jake Eater here. Well, I was going to say because he's pitching pretty well, and now we see that 97% cheese for the yellow pitch. Okay, Vlad. Vlad's making plays at third. Oh my god, he's laying down bunts. <laughs> I still find it funny that they have Pete Crow Armstrong as their DH. Yeah, we're going to sit him down on the third pitch there. Waving at the curve. And we got Nico Horner right back to Eater. Eight innings strong from Jake Eater. We just, we need to get him the run support. They're going to their bullpen. We have to score this inning. Both of us have our two, three, four spots in the order due up for the ninth. And I don't want to be facing theirs with it still tied at zero. Just do it on one pitch here, Eloy. One swing. Mm. <laughs> 3-1 count and I actually like that was a good pitch to swing at if I just made a good swing timing was there I saw it coming in it just I guess it broke more than I was ready for dude <laughs> that is a good swing and it's just I, I can't I don't know I don't know what I need to do like obviously I could wait back a little bit and make a slightly better swing but like you need some things to go your way and I'm just not getting those things to go my way at the plate all right they didn't want to pitch to Luis Robert though 97 power was too scary but it doesn't get easier because it's just Mitch Garver up you gotta be kidding you gotta be kidding like this, this is a joke it's a prank this is not real gameplay. I don't know what else to say. I just, I hope we don't lose it on a fluky walk-off home run or something. It's on you, Banks. Couple lefties do up to start. You gotta handle it. There we go. Inside out, jammed him. I, of all the things that can go wrong, in the middle of his throw, I, I somehow placed my thumb down on the triangle button on the controller and it canceled the throw. Never in all the years that I've been playing MLB The Show has that happened to me. Unbelievable that would happen right now. I just watch that run come around to score. Oh my God, dude. They they forced me to walk him. I don't even know what else to say about that. Like, I, I, I don't understand how those pitches were yellow and they also end up missing by that much. Oh my God. I, I am legitimately losing my mind here. It, it, that should be two. I am, I taking my right hand off the controller this time. I don't know. I, I mean... We got to two outs, but we also allow the winning run to move up to third. So, like, we can't allow anything. Dude, just chase. Just one time. Somebody on this Cubs team chase strike three. Okay. That that wasn't... I don't even know. I, I don't even know where that ended up. That might have been out of the zone. It might not have been. I wasn't throwing him a strike in that situation. And it worked out. We're heading to extras. <sighs> I, can, I can calm down now. At least a little bit. We've prolonged the game. There's no harm done. And Vaughn's gonna come through. If that at bat lasted any longer than that one pitch, I would have seriously thought about bringing in sheets. I just didn't think to do it right away, and I'm glad I didn't. I also, I was just gonna resign to the fact that we don't really have enough speed to justify a pinch runner here, but maybe we should. Oh yeah, wait, actually, we definitely can. Forgot that Fletcher is on the bench for these games against left-handed pitching, so we can bring him in with 72 speed on second base. Gives us a lot better of a chance to score. We, we just need something to get through. We have a runner on second with nobody out. Like all these base hits that I've been getting, we just need that now at this point. 
Okay, I, <laughs> I contact swung. I was not gonna go down there with two strikes and not move that runner over to third. I was gonna make sure I swung on the early side and made contact just as good as a bunt right there, which if I wasn't focused on whether or not to pinch run, I should have thought to lay down a bunt and I didn't think of that until we already had two strikes, but it works out the same. And that, I'm sending him one way or another. Yeah, he got a, a bad animation. We're gonna get in there, we're on the board. Finally, I put a run on the board myself. And we gotta hurry up and get Crochet ready to go. Need a, need a nice long AB from you here, Nikki, or just get on. Yeah, they, the pitcher knows it too. Pitcher knows I want a long AB here, so he just throws the fastball right down the middle. Guess I could have brought in DeYoung to pinch hit too. I don't know why I don't think of these things at the time that it needs to happen. Oh, just stay in there and let it hit you, Nikki. You're 0-2, and you're the 9 hitter. Any way you can get on base, you got to take. I mean, honestly, he's doing his job. He's putting together a nice long AB to give Crochet time to get warm. Oh, and he... He gave me he gave me a chance there. Gave me a chance to end it with an exclamation point, and somehow I waited back too long. This, this is it, though. Let's make this happen. Let's finish it right here with a one nothing lead. I think I can rearrange this defense here without needing to bring anyone else off the bench. We can just move Vlad to first, uh, and then we can move Mankata to his primary of third, and then Fletcher and Zeke can go ahead and swap places, and they're both in their primary. Perfect. And Crochet was just about ready to go, so now with this uh, mound visit, he should be... Oh, yeah, he's full. He is ready to go. He's gassed up. He's going to finish this thing and give us a 3-2 series lead. And right away, look who it's hit to. <laughs> the guy we brought in from right field to play his primary, he has gotten so many balls hit to him today. I guess second base in general, because Mankata made a couple plays over there, too. Oh. Why? Why do you have the eye once you get to two strikes? And then he... Two degrees. A hundred percent accuracy. Nothing wrong about whatever the middle thing is. And a two degree off from perfect. Like that... Since when is that not perfect? I've seen two degrees be blue. There we go. Up and into Matt Mervis. Couldn't catch up to it. Down to our final out here to get. And it looks like they're sticking with PCA here. You'd really think in this spot, lefty lefty, they would find somebody on the bench they'd rather have. If we could throw a strike, please. Oh my, this, I've, I haven't had this much trouble throwing accurate fastballs in a very long time. What is happening? Okay, I need to be done right now. The blood pressure is getting too high. Everything that was happening today was working to frustrate me. And somehow, some way, we walked away with two more wins on the board and a 3-2 series lead heading back home. I really, with, with how much tension I have, how much anger I felt, how frustrated I was throughout those two games, you would have thought I lost both of them again. But hey, any way we can take the wins, we will take the wins and we took two more today to flip the series back in our favor 3-2 lead with two home games left we're heading into november so next episode that'll be it one way or another whether we play one game or two next episode will be the end of our first season and we get to start it once again tied 0-0 the lack of offense in this world series is insane so guys make sure if you're enjoying hit that like button for me don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you you haven't yet and next time out it's the big one it'll be the end it'll be the deciding games of the world series but again thanks for watching another one today guys thanks for stopping by again and i will see you next time